Inside cover. Turn to the inside cover, please. Uh, you can write down in the location we're going to be in Jim B. All right, we'll be in Jim B. I'm still getting seat numbers together, so by at least you know we're in Jim B on that, on that day. Okay, on the inside cover where it says location, Jim B. I'll get you seat numbers uh, probably next week. Uh, next thing, and I'm giving you a two days notice on this. Friday, we are going to be working on the June 2022 exam. So you need to either A, bring that to class, print it out, or B, have it downloaded into Cami because you're going to write your notes on your Chromebook. All right, I'm not printing that and copying that for you. I only printed out and copied the three that you have, and that'll be it. June 2022. And having it, having it printed doesn't mean coming to class and saying, hey, can I go print it out? Have it printed beforehand. I'm giving you guys two days notice. June 2022 exam. Print it out by Friday because that's the one I'm going to use in class. Tomorrow, you guys know about tomorrow's review. It's on days one through five. And I also want to mention I'm making this as fair as possible. These are all old regents questions I'm giving you tomorrow. All right, it's nothing I found. It was like, all right, that, that'll challenge them or that'll make their life miserable. These are old regents questions, similar to what you'll see next Friday on the actual regents. All right, so it's, it's as fair as I can get. All right, it's on days one through five. There's a couple things I just want you to be aware of before you start working on your own today. There'll be a formula sheet attached because there are a couple volume questions on there. That's a topic we went over, which is volume and density. So please use your formula sheet. All right, use it. There's a, there's a couple formulas you're going to need there. All right, don't forget about it. I want to go over, uh, let me go over number two and four right now. There's only two formulas you need tomorrow. All right, two formulas that you need. One is arc length, which is S equals theta R. And the other one that's in your packet that you'll need, which is sector length, uh, sorry, area of a sector, which is measure of the arc over 360. And this is nothing new. It should be right in your packet times pi r squared. All right, there's no distance, midpoint, slope on there. All right, but those are the two formulas, arc length on the left, area of a sector on the right. And those are also on your uh, formulas to know sheet I passed out yesterday. Here's the issue, and here's what you have to remember. The arc length formula here, what's got to be, what, what do you have to know about that angle that you plug in? It's got to be in radians, right? But if you go over the sector formula, this angle that you plug in has to be, that's in degrees. So I want to go over right now what happens if you have one version, but you need the other. Like you have degrees, but you need radians. You have radians, but you need degrees. Grab your calculator right now, please. Number one, make sure it's in degree mode because some of you guys are going to practice sine, cosine, tangent questions. And by the way, today is a total work day on math. So any of the other crud that you got going on in your other classes, you can forget about it. Okay, you can forget about it. This is all get ready for tomorrow. All right, because I can already tell some of you uh, are a little nervous about something coming up later on today, and we got to study for it. That's not my problem today. So what happens if I have radians and I need to convert? All right, so let's start with I have my I have it in radians, but I need to plug in degrees instead. So let's t take two pi over three radians, and I want to know what that is in degrees because I, for whatever reason, I need degrees. So you go to your calculation screen. Type in 2 pi over 3. Your calculator has no idea you're talking about radians. No idea until we put the word radian next to it. So go to your toolbox. All right, we did this for degrees. And most here's, here's the problem. Most of you guys are already on this screen because my first period class did this already. But let me just back up how to get there. Okay, so from the main screen on toolbox, you go down to... Units and constants, all right, units and constants, you go to length and angle, and then we go to angle, and we have degrees, but I want radians, R-A-D, so you select radians, and it will put it next to, not like me, you want to put it on the outside of it, not into the three, three there, let me try that again, all right, so there you go, you want three radians, and then you hit enter, and it will convert it for you, so there's 120 degrees. Okay, 120 degrees. Let's go the other way now. Let's say I have 60 degrees, but I need that in radians for whatever reason. All right, I need my answer in radians. A little something different here. So you type in 60. Again, your calculator doesn't know you're talking about degrees until you put the symbol there. 
So go back to that toolbox where you got radians. Now select degrees and you'll see your calculator just literally gives you 60 degrees back. Why? Because that's the mode you're in, right? You don't need to change your mode though. Just go up, highlight 60 degrees, go over to those three dots and hit enter. And look what pops up. All right, so if you need the radians, just highlight it, hit the three dots. All right, now it's pi over three radians. Okay. So everyone good there? That's how we convert because you can't raise your hand tomorrow and ask me uh, where do I go to convert because I believe you will need, need that skill for one of the problems tomorrow. <coughs> and last thing, just to, we, it's, in, it's in days one through five, so I shouldn't be mentioning it, but uh, we do have a question tomorrow on your quad properties. And it's as simple as, hey, a, a parallelogram is a rhombus if, and then I'll list one par run rhombus property and three other properties of some other figures. And it's a very easy problem if you know it, but you'll be guessing if you don't know your quad properties. And there's a, two points off. Questions about tomorrow? I just wanted to go over those. Okay, so here's the deal today. In your review packet, at the end of every day, some of you may have not seen this because you haven't tried any yet. You got homework, which has all three exams I printed out. And then there's optional practice as well. Sometimes, though, when what's listed on the optional practice, I didn't print out for you. Okay, so just a heads up there. What I... And you may have to go print that out if you've done everything else. So go to whatever day you think you need work on, or just heck, start with day one. All right, and look at the three exams I've printed out. Try those problems. If you've tried them already and you want more practice, you go to the optional extra practice. But again, just a warning, you may not have some of those exams printed out. All right, so let's get going. Make sure you have uh, answer keys in front of you on your Chromebook. I don't know how you cannot do a problem circle an answer and have no clue if it's right or wrong. I have no idea how that happened, why that would happen. And we are going, doing this straight up until where we got 12 after, 13, 9, 13. Call me over if there's questions. You want to work with other people, that's fine, but we're working on this. Everyone hear that? We are working on getting ready for the review tomorrow. 